Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with all my happy planner happiness. So, and I still have more over there. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I worked through through the holidays. So I literally bought one of those huge baskets with the handles and I carried it with me um, when we were going to various places over the holidays. And I was really praying through, like, what should I do? How should I get set up? What is my plan? Well, I've shared with you guys some of the planners for this next year, but God was really tweaking that. So, let's get started. So, I have always loved Happy Planner. Um, I've used this one since it came out. This was the Amy Tan, and I only added a few things. <clears throat> Pardon me, I put in a little pocket. Um, and, yeah. So I've already started writing goals and doing things, but one of the things I really wanted to share was um, my favorite tool, as you, many of you know, are friction pens, and I have them in the other room. Friction pens erase. So as I've written in here, I'm going to um, lay down, you know, I haven't decorated this yet for this week, but I'm finding that this is, this works well. And so if I need to, I can still decorate on top, however I needed to do. When I left, I had some things to decorate with, but I didn't want to do it without you guys. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to decorate some of these. Not all of them, I'm not going to bore you to death. But this is something I absolutely adore. I just found this. This is a this week's goals. It folds in half, and uh, it's very, it comes this way. So I have literally been working through my goals. Now, um, and this was just yesterday and today. So you can see yesterday was really, really busy. Um, so, um, and it's two major things. I was packing up Christmas, working on the fridge, freezer, you know, relay, organization, the whole thing. thing. I still have to do my pantry, and we did sweep and mop. We did, but, you know, when you're doing this, you have to do it over and over again. And I will do it at the final haul out. I did pack up all my Christmas, and today I found another about half boxes worth of stuff. So I'm going to leave that one box out because, you know, that Christmas stuff, it just kind of, you know, peeks its head out at you. So, um, yeah, and I'm okay with that. It's all good. And then um, probably once my husband goes back to work next week, then I'm going to work on my bedroom. So um, I also put down here some of my YouTube things for my youngest and then our Bible study, I thought, began the 6th. It begins the 27th. And so I've got to find our Isaiah books. So I love this. I highly recommend this. Whether you make your own, there's something about the flip that is so great. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's fantastic. And I'm going to show you another place I might use it as well. And I might even just take this out and use it in that as well. So, so I'm staying with my Amy Tan for my catch-all. Everything goes in this planner going to stay with that. I am still keeping my Erin Condren for work and my, um, or my Hobby Lobby for work, my Erin Condren for the planner, I mean for the channel. I'm not sure that I'm going to stay with that particular Erin Condren. It's a spiral bound and it's not been my best planner and I will tell you why in a little bit. So this is my catch-all planner. Love it, still love it, continue to use it. Now this is a planner that um, it came with a different cover on it and different, um, came with this cover on it. Hold on. And I just turned it inside out because I preferred this one. So it became this, it came with this cover. I just turned it inside out. So that's a great thing with Happy Planner. If you don't like the cover, you can turn them inside out and use it. Came with this, these rings. I did not want to use these rings for what I was going to use this for. So... This is my kind of one of my catch-alls. So what I did was I loaded what was left out of all my stuff and I put it in here. Plus I put in here my used um, Amy Tangerine sheets. And I will find a better place for that before right now. That's just what I put it in so I wouldn't damage it. So this is just a catch-all or what I would call an overflow. So this is one of my overflows, and I will get to the other 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 overflows in a minute. What I did with this, I wanted this cover. This cover was a part of like a wellness type calendar, and so I took one of the month's contents, put it in my Amy, I think it's in my Amy Tangerine catch-all. I think, I think, I think. Nope. I put it in here. Okay. Had to think through what I did. So, kind words cost nothing. 
can't say it any more plainly than that. I absolutely love that. I think that is a great encouragement. And of course, that's what this channel is about. So I loved it. This is my faith planner. I looked at everything. I've tried everything. And I have never been as happy as when I had the horizontal faith planner by Happy Planner. Unfortunately, when I got there, the faith planner was vertical and I just wasn't going to do it again. So, and it was really funny. I went to Hobby Lobby. There was a gal looking in the same section and this was like, I don't know, New Year's Eve. And then the next day, I went, or in the same day, I went over, pardon me, to Michael's and there she was again and we laughed at each other and she goes, yeah. And it was really great. We started chatting. She was brand new to planning. She asked me a hundred questions and it was great. I mean, I learned from her. There was a certain style of planner. I didn't know the name of it by Happy Planner. So, um, very sweet gal. And, um, you know, so we just chatted and I talked her through some of the things that I had found useful because she was asking me lots of questions. So, I ended up with this cover, these rings I switched out. I bought the rings separately because I just love rose gold. So, this is what floats my boat. It doesn't have to for you. It, it's great. You do what works for you. I put a pocket in here. Um, and then I put, I bought a set of dashboards and I just put this one over the front because I find if I don't put something over it, then the stickers will get messy and I can't, um, I just can't do anything with that. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I have a dashboard right here that keeps everything nice and neat below. And on this dashboard, I'm going to put my word for the year. I'm going to save my word for the year. I'm going to come back, I'll do that project with you, and I will share with you what my word for the year is and why I chose it. And I've had words for the year before, but they didn't really stick, and, and then I would forget, and you know how that goes. So I'm going to put it in here, it will stay in here, and I probably will put it in my Amy Tangerine as well. So this came with the dashboard kit, so that worked out perfect. And I just, even though I didn't use these particular... Um, discs. I still like it. I think it's pretty and I love pastels so it worked perfectly and it matches the planner. So I picked up some of these dividers and I think that may have come with this but I can't remember. There was so much that was going on. So this is my January. I have not started yet um, and I will probably this weekend. So this is going to be my faith journaling, my prayers to God every night before I go to sleep. I found that when my parents were so ill and so sick that writing my prayers every night at the end of the day was such a huge thing for me. I have a gratitude journal, and if I include that in here, that's totally fine. I'm totally good with that. Um, you can never express enough gratitude to God. So I feel like this is for me. This is where I'll write my daily prayers. And then when I come back here to the monthly, I, um, I just want to put down key events that can encourage me. This is my planner that will encourage me in my walk. So I really want things that are in here like, you know, um, you know, yesterday we got all the fridges in. And what a praise that's been because literally the fridges were too the fridge was too big to come in. It took my husband taking it apart. They took it apart like three different times because they would take one level off and then they couldn't get it through the door and they have to go back downstairs, take it back off again. Because we live in a house with a basement so we have a stoop and it, it was huge it was such a huge undertaking and um so that was a praise and that nobody got hurt nothing was damaged it was shocking so anyways we do have a new freezer downstairs and it is making the worst noise ever that i've got to talk to my husband about but hopefully we're gonna either get it checked or it's it's second hand so, and our freezer was clearanced, so that's how our fridge was clearanced, so that's how we're able to do some of these things. I mean, he literally found a $4,000 fridge, freezer, um, for six hundred, five, six hundred, somewhere, I think it's right in there, five, five or six hundred. Anyways, long story short, shocking, just shocking, but because it was already opened, Lowe's wouldn't, wouldn't deliver it, Lowe's wouldn't bring it in, because I was telling my husband just pay for them to bring it in. Yeah, because we're getting older now, and Holly, these things in and out. My husband was a weightlifter when he was young, and we were early married, and before he married, and I mean, he's still a very strong man. He, you know, loads feed stacks. He's, I mean, feed bags. He's, you know, he's ripping things up, carrying things on the property. He works a lot, though he has a, you know, desk job. He works a lot on the property, 
But I just told him, I said, you have, you know, you're back, all these things, let's be safe. Well, God had a different plan, and he brought an army in, and they helped get it in yesterday, so it was amazing. So, that's a praise for tomorrow, and for today, from yesterday. Sorry, it's a praise for yesterday. And I will put something there, fridge freezers in, and everybody's safe. I mean, that was huge. So, um, yeah, so that's why I'm using this. Now, when I move to the back, so I'm only putting three months in here because, let me show you. So, when I go to the way back, sorry, I've got everything piled here. I've got a bunch of different, like, paper and, you know, grid, dot, everything plain white. And when I go to Bible study or church, I will take this with me. I love writing on these. They work beautifully. They're the right size. Everything. So I'll just write on this, pop it in, and then I'll come home, do my Bible journaling from that, and I'm good to go. So um, I just find that it works really well for me. I loved when I had the Faith Planner before. And if Happy Planner ever hears my voice, please go back to a vertical Faith Planner. I love the soap faith planner and I will share something about that with you at a different day and I don't have it in here with me so anyways but I will make another video of that so this is my faith planner and this is how I have it set up so I have three months I have my blank paper and in between this particular planner when I bought it it had a kind of a it was kind of a wellness encouragement type planner so five things I'm loving this week one area I would like to grow in little things that bring me joy, simple ways I can be kinder to others, an intention for this week. And then there's just dot grid paper, and then it starts again. So I figured if I did this weekly, what a blessing that would be. And then if on this dot grid, if I just made notes of what really worked well, what didn't work well, you know, um, you know, sometimes you do something for someone and it just falls flat. And you think it's like, oh, but I I really thought this through. I prayed it through, and sometimes it just falls flat. We had some of that over the holidays. And so we retweaked. We literally looked at some things that we did we thought would bless others, and we recognized that they didn't recognize it as that. And so, therefore, um, that wasn't a good investment of our time. And it's not that we would begrudge them in any way. We'll still do things for them, but it'll be different things, if that makes any sense. So... These are the kind of pages I want to walk through this next year to live a more intentional year. For years now, I've been living in the emergent state of, you know, ill parents, losing my parents, the estate, the businesses, etc., taking so much on. And we literally talked over the holidays about weeding some of the things out of our life. Um, everybody else's life continued to go on and flourish, and ours was stuck on the hamster treadmill and it was not easy. It was the most complicated time in our lives and we recognize that. I mean, my husband on New Year's Eve was so thrilled to say bye-bye 2019, hello 2020. And it, and it wasn't that we didn't learn things, we learned a lot of things and we're thankful for all the things that God did this last year. But it's time for a fresh start. So with that comes a fresh attitude, a fresh change of heart, a fresh focus. So anyways, I thought this was great. So this is my faith planner. Perfect. And, I, and as you can see, it's not overstuffed. I purposely didn't overstuff it, and it does have some pockets in the back. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I will find a way to put a pen in here. Um, I probably will just attach it to one of the dashboards or to the covers and that will take that with just a simple pen loop. So there's that one and I love this one. So, okay, let's keep going. I have picked up, this one is just a plain white paper. Um, it came with this right here. I added in some of the other fill-in paper that I bought and then my habit trackers. So this is just another resource um, overflow planner. It works out really well for me, and I love it. So I've got that. Then I picked up this. So I'm going to come back and do a more in-depth um, video of this, but just suffices to say, this is my new wallet. This is my new budgeting wallet. This is more probably for the channel than it is my private life, but I may include my private life in here too. So, um, but this is my wallet. This is what I'm going to put in a little purse, and I will do a whole video on this. So. That's my wallet one. 
This is an old project planner that I had set up before, and I just found it, and I think I may use this specifically for a house renovation planner. Yes, this may be, live well, <laughs> my home renovation planner. So, getting the refrigerator switched out, the freezer, um, I went through and I just started cleaning things out. So, my dear sweet friend Donna, please keep praying for me. <laughs> I, All of you, I covet your prayers. Um, it was so freeing to say, let it go, let it go, let it go. And I'm really thankful for that. I'm doing the same thing in our food and our eating, everything. It just gets to be very simplified. Um, I learned a lot. We went and stayed with our son and daughter-in-law. And my daughter-in-law has the most simplified fridge and kitchen I've ever seen in my whole life. And I adore her, and I um, I just really like how she had her set up. Our daughter and son-in-law, who I also adore, they have a bit more, but um, there were things I gleaned from them as well. So, excellent, excellent. And both of them have uh, this same fridge freezer that I just got. So, it was really great to go and like look and see how they did their fridges and their freezers, and it was just fun. I just, I just... I, I, I forgot how much I love to organize, and I hope that stays with me as we work on the on the on the cottage this year. Um, I have also been asked a cottage video. It will not take place for a long, long time until we get it all set up. It will never be perfect because you know how craft rooms are, but um, but I will be glad to share it with you. And I will be taking some before and after pictures, and I will put them on my website. So, okay. This is an overflow, and I just put, and I, I didn't have enough room in, in my small overflow, so I started putting things in here. This particular planner came with um, a date type, a, a calendar as well. I did not use all of it, but I used parts of it, and I saved the empty pages that I'm not going to use, and I will use them for other things. Um, and then here's my other overflow calendar. So this is really my overflow calendar um, notebook, but my overflow plain paper notebooks were overflowing, so I couldn't put these in there. I know, a lot of overflow. Okay, and then lastly, here's my other overflow that just ran out of space. So I have, and a lot of these, these are from years ago, so if you ask me where I got these, these are from years ago. Um, I do have in here my old home planner, and I am implementing bits and pieces of it in my um, Amy Tan, and I will go in depth more with that, but, um, I am really happy with it and super thrilled. These are old that came with the, I believe this is the wellness, but I'm still utilizing, because it's undated, I'm still utilizing the weekly food and exercise log that is also in my Amy Tangerine. Now, then it is all just paper, just paper. I mean, as a paper crafter, you can never have enough paper. But for me, um, I find that if I don't get this now, it'll be gone, and then I'll get frustrated. And what was really great is I found some old paper that I absolutely adore. And so I was throwing that in my planners, too. So you know how God does. He um, he just brings us good things. I also picked up some of my social, some of the social kit, and I'm going to work on that in light, in light of our, you know, our channel. So... Um, again, Erin Condren isn't really working for me, and I need it to be with my Amy Tangerine. So Erin Condren um, coiled planner may be somewhat retired, or it may be flipped to something else. So, okay, that's it. This is it for my happy planner, except for my small on-the-go planner that I will share with you. And it is a faith planner, and it is a great on-the-go planner. So I will do a a separate video on that. I will do a separate video on the wallet. And yeah, that'll be coming. So, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's kind of scattered, but I wanted you to see that sometimes it takes several planners <laughs> to get set up what you will actually use. And then, um, and then you have your resource planners that you go back to for your overflow and you pick them up. So, all right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. There is so much going on in this this channel. And in order to participate in all the drawings that are going on, you must be subscribed. So, and there, you know, there's always uh, 
things that we talk about when we do drawings. But we'd love to have you, most importantly, because we'd love to encourage you. This channel is all about encouragement, and uh, we're excited to be here with you. So, okay, my friends, I'm going to come back. I'm going to do some videos on planning, and then I'm also in you know, my plan. And then I'm also going to share with you some of my other planners. So this is planner Happy Planner Part 1. There will be a Happy Planner Part 2. And then um, eventually a Wallet Planner. Not yet. I still have some things coming. And then, and I should have them in a week or so, um, depending on how, qu how quick Happy Planner gets my stuff to me. And then um, I've just got some other things in the fire this year. So I'm going to take you along with me on this journey this year and hope that it encourages you. Okay, friends. Um, and then, I, then I'll do my other planners that I'll share with you too. All right, friends. I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, love you guys. I'll be talking to you soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.